Today, I'm going to be modeling the subtraction of mixed numbers. This connects to remote learning week two, lesson two in math. That lesson is called adding and subtracting mixed numbers. This comes from remote learning instructional notes based on the BCPS packets. Our learning objective. We will add and subtract mixed numbers with like denominators, meaning they're the same denominator, by using models, equivalent fractions, and properties of operations in order to solve real world problems. Visual models can be used to subtract mixed numbers. So for the examples that I'm going to be showing you, we're going to be using this word problem. The track coach measured the length of different courses for the upcoming meet. The longest course is two and two eighths miles long. The shortest course is one and five eighths miles long. How much longer is the longest course? So I need to find the difference between the longest course and the shortest course. The longest course is two and two eighths miles, and I need to take away one and five eighths from that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to represent my first uh, mixed number in the uh, subtraction equation. So first I'm going to represent my two holes. My two holes will each be broken into eight parts. All eight parts will be shaded for both of those. So there is my two holes that I'm representing this to. Now I need to represent two eighths. So to do that, I'm going to shade two of my eight equal pieces. So here we have two and two eighths. Now we need to subtract. So I always like to subtract the whole number first. So if I'm taking away one, I'm going to eliminate one of these holes. And if you think about it, two minus one, we're left with one whole. Makes sense. Now, I'm not done yet. I still need to take away the five eighths. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to X out five of my eighths that I have still shaded. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. So now that I've uh, crossed out one whole, which is right here, and five eighths, I can figure out how many eighths I have left. So this is the difference between the um, length of the courses. So what's left after I take away one and five eighths? We have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths shaded. So our answer will be five eighths. I'm going to also show you how to solve this on the number line. I prefer to use the area models because they work better for me. But if you like number lines, go for it. So here I'm going to have my number line. We're going to have the same uh, word problem in the same equation. So our answer should still be 5 eighths, but we're seeing another strategy. So I'm going to set up my number line in eighths. And I know that I have to mark up to 2 and 2 eighths. So I go all the way to 3. So now I'm going to mark in black my two and two eighths on the number line. First, I'm gonna count my holes. So I'm gonna have one hole going from zero to one and two holes going from one to two. So I have two holes that match my whole number in my mixed number. Now I need to add two eighths. So when I add two eighths, I need to have one eighth jump, two eighths jump. So I'm left with 18 eighths, but that's just telling us that two and two eighths is the same as 18 and eight, 18 eighths. It's not solving our problem. So we need to now take away our one and five eighths. So first I'm gonna start by taking away our whole number in that one and five eighths. So I'm getting rid of one of my jumps, my whole jumps. Now I need to get rid of five eighths as well. So I start by getting rid of my eighths jumps. One eighth, two eighths. But there's no more small eighths jumps left. Well, we know that one whole is representative of eight eighths. So we can add one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. Remember, one whole jump is the same as eight eighths. So now that I've changed that one whole to my eight eighths, I can figure out how much will be left. So I've already done one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. Now if I cut, uh, catch count the jumps from zero, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, I will be at five eighths and that will show us that our answer is five eighths. 